seeing a lot of innovation this weekend. That's very true. All right, here we go. Hey, Mono Green Aggro, talk about it. There it is. That's my baby. It's going up against Altai Ram. Five O's. Do you see? Mono, that's a good. Did you see? Uh, did you see Ari come at you a little bit on Twitter? No, I missed that. What happened? Played against Mono Green Aggro, and he said something along the lines of, "Well, you know." I, I post board. I just like time my removal spells the right way, so I wasn't caught off guard by the pro multicolor thing and whatever. It's like I can understand this matchup feeling good if your opponent has no idea what's going on, but against someone who actually does, I can't imagine it be better. It being better than forty percent for the green side. Okay, tough guy. We'll see about that. Coming at you. He is coming at me. You know what? That's what I love about Ari, though. I respect it. Is he's not yeah. afraid to come. He's not afraid to come at literally anyone, which is why I like Ari. Which is why I like Ari so much. This mono green deck also not afraid of flooding out. Yeah, I mean it. It's like it floods out a ton, and it, oh, that's and it, part of and the it appeal. That's part of the appeal. <laughs> do you have any lands that do anything? No. It just that's I need to draw. I need to draw four lands, exactly four lands, and then stop. No problem. No, Doug. We got mobilized district. We can fire up. All right. So this is embarrassing. <laughs> All right, extinction event not even worth casting. Just cycle the start tornado. Tornado. All right, they can't so get a I mean, two -two. I mean, it doesn't look good right now. I guess. Uh oh, <laughs> back in it. Back in it. Back in so it. Making, making some two twos. Yeah. I mean, all I'm saying is that it doesn't look great right now. Is all I'm saying. It could look better. Is all I'm saying. I bet you right now. Ari is at his desk laughing. Oh no! I the Ari composing cackle? composing a tweet about the it's the matchup. Coming. It's coming because I'm watching it too, so I know it's coming. He's gonna. It's something along the lines of, "Hey, how how was watching that experience? As I extinction evented away all their odds and left them with a one one." And you know what? That happens, Ari. It's happening right now to Brendon. It's even worth trading with his cantrip creature. Well, so back in it. How about yeah. that? How about LSB? Got nicknames for everything. I do. I really do. Oh, no. Well, shove with that token. Gonna, shove gonna, with that token. Ease up be, who you're, that. be who you're meant to be. Get in there. <laughs> you need to ease up on that? No, 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 no. Teach Ari a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're teaching him in that regard. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. How oh, combat him. works? The rules of uh, combat. Yeah, yeah. The rules of combat mostly. Uro, you hear about this thing? <laughs> I guess mono green in this economy? Oh, Aether Gust. I really like, I really like the mono green odds against that card. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. It's not, I'm not going to say it's looking good. Because that would be... Yeah, I guess Escape an Uro with Gust back up your turn. Oh, well, you know, anyone's game. Okay, well... Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I don't really have a lot to say. I don't have a counter to what you're saying right now, unfortunately. I wish I did. I just don't. I would try to make it interesting and just hard cast the Shark Typhoon this turn. I think if you did that, you're still a huge favorite to win, but it is very funny. You're a huge, you're a huge overdog. Look, this, it's getting a little ugly out here. Uro can be a problem at times, okay? That's all I'm going to say. It can be a bit of an issue if you don't draw Scavenging Ooze. But th you can say that about most cards. <laughs> that they're, Vivian? That they're, Vivian? They're a You're saying, you can say that about most cards, what? That they are problematic for you? Yes. 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 Ether Gust, tough guy. Tough guy alert. You know, see the thing, Patrick? It's easy to cast Ether Gust. Anybody can do that. Send them. Oh. Send we're gonna, them. We're getting them down to twelve here. <laughs> no cards in hand. Send it. You got it. Yeah, you got. You just gotta chill. I know. I appreciate it. You wanna? You've had some rough turns. You wanna let them know you're not gonna be slapped around. I appreciate yes. all that. But you gotta, you gotta chill for a turn. No cards in hand. Just message you. Let you know. <laughs> I will not be treated this way in front of a live audience. It's not okay. Yeah, 
it's a tough hang. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> it's just, okay, Vivian time. Well, I mean, you can't fight and you can't profitably pump, but whatever. It's cool. Pump up the jam. Barky wants to get a little tougher. Respect that. It's probably a good block here with Shark Typhoon, if I had to guess. There's probably something. Nah, just pick that off for free with, uh, pick off the Vivian for free. Mm, okay. And then that fire makes... back with Uro and Narset. That, yeah. Oh, we're going to go back. Okay. Well, you're just going to draw it perfect every turn, Ari. Oh. <laughs> what? What's, what are you hoping that Ari draws here besides lands? <laughs> are there any cards uh, in this spot? Uh, uh, it's He's only drawn two or three of those. We're kind of yeah, out of thought. That, that, yeah, that happened in the early stages of the game, which is why this game has not been close at any point. Uh, so, you know, yeah. You get it. You get it. Whew, yikes. Okay. Let's just keep let's just keep fighting the good fight. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep fighting the good fight. Hustling. Just keep hustling out That's there. Right. Don't give up. Do not give up. Ryan over turf calling this a grudge match. I only sort of agree. <laughs> Here we go. Also, let's not forget something here, folks. Brendone! He's 5 and 0. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> okay, Ari. So, uh, he, Ari, he's won just as many matches I as I really you. like, that's a really good commentary moment. It's like, I know you're all watching this deeply illegitimizing moment for Mono Green. Remember, yeah. 5 and 0. Oh. He's 5 and 0. Oh. He's got as many wins as the all time. Of didn't see any of that, but nope. keep in mind, 5 and 0. Oh. Yeah, both players, same record. Okay? And I'll tell you what. Just for Ari, who I know can't hear this right now. If Brendan wins, it's going to get ugly on Twitter. Not this game. Because I, I, I think that is extremely unlikely. But Ari is an off-the-board favorite to win this game. We got to yeah, talk no, about Yeah, we, we got to no talk about Vegas is not accepting bets on this game right now. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> will not take any action. Yeah. Speaking of shutting it down, Vivian now off the battlefield. So that's, that's taken care of. For you Milwaukee Bucks fans out there, it's eighty. Oh. It's eighty to fifty in favor of the Bucks. And much like the Milwaukee Bucks beat down, Ari Lax is going to win game number one. But that's okay. Well, this is like my exact list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get those Ceratops ends. Get those Primal Mites out of your deck. Don't bring in the Great Hedge. It doesn't do anything. Goodness. Sheldon Mattery with guests is what the command share is all about. For you commander fans out there, starcitygames.com slash the command share is where you're going to want to be. Check out all the action over there if you're a big commander guy. Got Toby Elliott, Sheld uh, what's his name? Scott Larrabee from Wizards of the Coast, and many more. Again, that is the command share. Starcitygames.com slash the command share. Sideboarding here, real easy. Let's keep it real straightforward, okay? Primal Mites out. Shifting Ceratops in. No other changes. Those, lo those Love Struck Beasts, they should be in the deck. You gotta get the party started on turn one. You can't. You gotta have as many one drops as possible and mix up those casting costs. You got, so we gotta get those creatures back in. And the Great Hinge, no, no, no. If the Great Hinge is drawn in this game, it is going to be a horror show. Do we? Do we know if the Great Hinge is in? There's at least one copy in. We can't do that. The game doesn't play out that way. For that's a relevant Magic card. Which now, almost assuredly, the game is going to play out in such a way that's a relevant Magic card. Though I will note that when you board out Love Struck Beast. The Great Henge gets significantly worse because it's your best card with the Great Henge to cast it early. We got a hand here. We got this. This, this is a hand. This is a hand. This, this can this can get it. Oh, I would bottom either Questing Beast or Forest. I think I would have bottomed the card that Brendan bottomed. You would okay. Yes, I approve of that decision. Okay, I, it still seems like extremely bad to me, but that's that's fine. That's fine. And I, I like to play I like to play on turn two, not playing Ooze, playing uh, Barky. Even though it gives up some equity on the pelt collector that I like to I like I like to slow roll the ooze a little bit. Also, um be like you're dealing you're dealing more damage this way, a bunch of stuff like that. I generally I generally hold uh I generally hold ooze for Uros later in the game. Generally how I play it. 
I understand that you're like you know you're not going one drop two two three three so on and so forth. I get that. Well, also you would get to play the the troll with a mana up, which might matter too. But I'm sure. Well, if they if, if they if they kill the troll, then your pelt collector's a three three, and then you have an ooze, and then you remove you remove the card that they killed the pelt collector that they killed the bark eye troll with, and you have two three three, so it's still fine. Now they took questing beast, and we have a shifting ceratops just hanging. So now Ari is going to how's he going to play this? Yeah, eat eat something. Yeah, eat your QB. So this is going to get Heartless Act did. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to use the Heartless Act here because it gives up a lot of equity with the Extinction events, but also he's kind of playing hand up if he just says go again. So Yeah, awkward draw. That's the mono green I know. Screw, flood and screw. Just flood and screw. Yeah, classic. Back back in. Classic. I'm hoping to rip off the Great Henge here. <laughs> All right, extinction event. Kill one thing. All right, so if we draw a land, the game is actually over. Draw a land. That's it. Vivian, Vivian, thank you very much, Vivian. You cast removal. You still lost the game, Vivian. It's a shame. Look out! Are We're you going to game three, everybody? Yeah, just like that. You see that? I saw that. You see, you see that cards? right there? You see those cards? Cardox shares, which I'm sitting in one right now. Same I'm not. Percentage. Well, What's that's that? your that's your problem. Same for 10% at checkout. Cardox.com slash SCG. Little affiliate deal there. Get that great right. out of I'm, there. But I'm looking to save 100% by having this sent to me for free yeah. on uh, on the notion that as someone who has promoted Cardox, this is the least they can do. Where's the promo code for that? That's a different hyper. How do I we'll check have, out? We're going to have to give you that off air. Different. Yeah. 100% off my chair. That's right. Send it to me. Oh, boy. You see this? Do you see this primal line here? I'm not optimistic about it. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Against the against uh, the Doomblade deck. I'm not big on the fight card. Um, I'm going to keep... I'm going to put Shifting Ceratops to the bottom. <laughs> you know, it's... It, the next twenty Doom Blades, no creatures, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so let's see. Let's see how the fight depending card goes. No, you keep that last one. Oh no, I would have kept that last one. That's all right. But you gotta, you gotta let it go. I know. Well, it's just it's very hard to win on five against the Doom Blade deck. That's all. No, I, I know. Ari's got a great tweet queued up on the shore. I know. That's why. I, that's why I'm really rooting. Oh, for there we go. I like getting frisky here. Teach my lesson. Curve out, you know, 1-1 one, one blank, 2-2 two, two blank. I got a protection spell up, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, it couldn't be the draft deck, but we'll see. That's all right. Let's not worry about draft decks right now. Let's worry about beat downs. Make them pay. Make them pay if he tries to kill it. All right, ooze. <laughs> all right, so that's going to get eliminated then. Cool. Tough guy. All right, player Uro. Okay, all right, we lose. Well, maybe if Ari, does, if Ari doesn't draw a land, we can win. I like that you're saying we. Oh, no, I'm on the team. I'm on, I'm on Brendan's team. <laughs> it's it's me. It's Brent, Brendan, is, Brendan is my avatar. And it's me and Brendan versus. Brick on a land. Brick just, oh, yeah. Oh, we're live. We got a game. Okay. We, got a we, game. Got, we got a game. Oh, we got a game. Got a game. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Play that QB! Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I would have played that QB. But that's okay. That's all right. Dark Tycoon's going to trade. Um, eh, it might trade. Okay. So we're going to do that. Uh, I would have played that QB. You just got you got a Ram Jam. Because like, you're on a mold of five. You can't play post combat. You can't do that. <laughs> we don't allow that. You'll you be can't do, You cannot you can do, do that. Yeah. I will not allow post combat QB. Pay it out, though. I mean, you know, if if you're playing around Extinction Event and maybe Aether Gust, that the discipline there with the Questing Beast paid out. Well, actually, so if you play QB there and they like gust you, it's fine. But the problem is, you know, because the game's over now. Um, the problem is like you got to play QB there because you have odds and evens. Oh yeah, yeah, you got to. So your Extinction Event, 
Because like if if you go if Ari plays if Ari names even, then you still have the Harbinger to connect for four and trigger and get another card and keep playing. But now, I mean now where it's just where I, I would concede right now. <laughs> I would just I would just say, you know what, I'm off it. That's all. It's winning with bated breath on this Ranger Kyle trying to do yeah, Hey, get that Ceratops rolling, baby. Let's get it going. Let's give it haste. Let's get our final five points of damage because our two creatures are going to exile by extinction event. And then let's call it. Oh, we're going to play D? Oh, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> we're going uh... to get our final point of damage. Oh, uh, the Ranger's Guile with every creature you have played has been mowed down by spells, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, big draw there. Alright, <laughs> relax, everyone. I can't wait for this tweet. Six and zero, oh, lock for top eight. Oh.